In this video, we are discussing binning pattern overview. It is one kind of partitioning pattern. And here in this case, we will be having only the mapper. There will be no combiner, no partitioner, no reducer. So here the data set will be divided into multiple different output files. And one bin will have multiple output files. So now depending upon the criteria for which this mapper will iterate through the data set, it will send the respective record to the respective output file depending upon the matching of the criteria. So this is the basic concept of this binning pattern overview. So let us discuss more on it. So what is binning pattern? It is also like the partitioning pattern and it separates the data into different categories and but not cared about the orders. So that depending upon the category, depending upon the criteria, the records will be divided into multiple different output files, but it will, it will not bother for the ordering of those records. So in the binning pattern, it splits the data into map phase because here we are having only the mappers. Now each mapper will have separate files per output bins. So a mapper can, will produce multiple output files and obviously that is a problem. If the system is having millions of such mappers, then so many output files will get generated and obviously that will be a challenge for the name node scalability. So if the number of the mapper is large enough, it can generate millions of such output files. So this will create a bad effect on the name node scalability. So these are the problems with this binning pattern. Now binning pattern structure. So the mapper iterates through the list of different criteria for each bin and when the record matches, it will be sent to the respective bin. So it will search for the criteria and list of criteria will be there and it will go on iterating on those criteria, and then depending upon the match, it, the record will be sent to the respective bin. No combiner, partitioner, reducers are used in this pattern. So from this very diagram, you can easily find that here we are having only the binning mappers which are taking these inputs from the input splits. So here we are having multiple input splits and multiple binning pat, uh, mapper are working at the same time in parallel and they are producing multiple output files. And obviously when the number of mappers will be millions of such and whenever we are having such huge number of output files, that will be a challenge for the name node scalability. So in this particular video, we have given you only the binning pattern overview. In the next video, we will be going for the implementation of the same. Please watch also the next video for your better understanding. Thanks for watching this.